Okay, so electron volts, EV, is a unit that's used in particle and nuclear physics. So for everyday typical objects, like a man walking, if he's got a mass of 70 kilograms and is walking at a speed of 1.5 meters per second, he's got a kinetic energy of 80 joules. And that's easy to work with. So we use joules for every normal typical calculations. However, with uh, particle physics and uh, physics uh, of things inside atom, we've got, if here you can see I'm using the mass of an electron and a typical speed of an electron, I'm getting very small energies. So in this case, 3.2 times to the minus 17 joules. And that's difficult to visualize and use. And, and it's not easy and it's quite tedious writing it down as well. So we use electron volts instead. So I'm going to show you how to turn this 3.2 times into minus 17 joules into electron volts. Okay, to turn this 3.2 times into minus 17 joules into a, a number that's easier to work with, I'm going to use this constant, the charge of an electron. 1.6 times into power minus 19 coulombs. So how can I turn this 3.2 times into minus 17 into a nice easy round number? So if I multiply, it's going to become an even smaller number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it. So if I divide this by 1.6 times into power minus 19, I get 200. Okay, that's a nice easy number, and that's what we call an electron volt. So all you've done is just divide by the charge of an electron. So that's much easier to work with. Okay, so uh, another way to interpret 200 electron volts is uh, think of it as the energy gained by a stationary electron when it's accelerated through a potential difference of 200 volts. So for example, if I have a stationary electron here, U equals zero, and, and they've got a positive plate all the way on this end here, it's going to start to speed up, it's going to accelerate. And by the time it reaches this end here, it's going to have a energy corresponding to 200 for electron volts, in other words, 3.2 times into the power minus 17 joules. Okay, another place where we use electron volts is in nuclear physics. In this example here, a fission reaction is taking place, and that releases around 144 mega electron volts uh, for each reaction. Okay, so sometimes it's useful to turn the mega electron volts back into joules. So mega is 10 to the 6. So first I'm going to turn the mega in electron volts into normal electron volts by times it by 10 to the 6. And then to turn into joules, I multiply by 1.6 times into the power of minus 19. Okay, so that gives me 2.3 times into the power of minus 11 joules. Okay, so have I done that right? I can check by checking if this number makes sense. Now this energy here is quite small, which is what we expect for one nuclear reaction. Okay, it's bigger than what you get in atomic physics, but it's still not that big. 